you know, obviously we're more youth intensive within the online ecosphere that's been created. And I feel that a lot of the people just haven't had the life experience. You know, as you mentioned, I think it's a lot of its personality and you, don't, you haven't had the life experience. Like, you know, when you have like a family, you have many responsibilities and you're trying to give the dawa. A lot of the other pitter patter stuff, you don't give it like so much attention. It's like, we're well, not worth your time. But you know, with some yeah. of these people, they have so much time. It's like, okay, this thing, and they make reaction videos and reaction to reaction, yeah. you know what I mean? And <laughs> it's... Very it, true. I mean, even if you look at a lot of the comment yeah, thing online, yeah. sometimes people just have a lot of time on their hands. Thing in life, for the young brothers, and yeah. especially that are watching, and yeah. there's two ways to learn something. Mm. One is when somebody gives you nasiha, mm. and one mm. is when life teaches you. Mm. Right? The intelligent person learns with nasiha. Mm. Right? If you tell me this is a brick wall, don't bang your head against it; it's going to hurt you. Mm. And you are a doctor, you're intelligent, I respect you. I'm going to take your word for it. Mm. Right? Somebody is going to be like, nah, I don't know, I, it looks like plastic to I gotta me. I got to learn for myself. Right? <laughs> yeah. and then you get a big bump yeah. cut on your yeah. head, and then you realize, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> the intelligent person takes nasiha. Yes. The intelligent person learns through advice. Mm. The hard-headed person le doesn't learn except through any yani, experiences. But mm. my advice to the youth is to be intelligent. Mm. Right? Don't don't wait till you go through life-threatening experiences. Don't wait till you get shot at or stabbed to learn that this is a bad lifestyle. Listen to those that have already been through it and have left that lifestyle and, and benefit from that advice. Mm. Right? Because if you learn yourself, you're gonna waste time, effort. You might not make it. Mm. People I grew up with, a lot of them are dead. They didn't make it past 12, past 14, past 16. When I was 12, I lost you know, uh, an acquaintance at that time I grew up with to the gang world. Mm. Got shot at 12, imagine. You know, never got to see teenagers, never got to see what life's about. You know? mm. So you know, we need to learn from these things. And when you look at, uh, like da'wah, like we talk mm. about the da'wah scene. And, and I'm not talking about any individual, I don't want people to take this the wrong way. Mm. A lot of those YouTube channels aren't really dawa. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, they, they may be talking about certain things, but dawa is when you're calling towards something, right? Mm. So, a lot of people nowadays, they've never studied sharia, ah, they don't know the basics of aqidah, they don't know uh, the halal and haram of it, but maybe they're funny, maybe they have mm. some other you know, thing that's made them popular, and now people are like, he's a dawa guy. Like, not really. <laughs> you know what I, mean, I fear more than that, Sheikh? The hadith of Rasul Sallallahu where you could say something carelessly without even thinking yeah. about it. And you don't think it's a big deal and it's going to cause you to sink down to the depths of Jahannam. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's yeah, a, that's yeah, a scary true. hadith. You it know when is, people are like is. generating hours and hours of content. Yeah. Are you ready to make hisab about all that stuff that you said on Yom Qiyamah? Are you ready for scary. that? Scary. Yeah, scary. You know? Allah protect us.